Hello, I'm Vince Pizzat. Today we're going to rebuild a pneumatic solenoid. The parts we're going to need, Allen key, pneumatic solenoid rebuild kit, and obviously a pneumatic solenoid. Inside the kit, comes with a schematic breakdown of how everything works. A new piston. assembly o-rings, spring, and a piece of felt. So first thing we're going to do is take off the side caps. So as you see when we pull off the end cap, no o-ring, but there is a spring. We'll move to the other side. So now that we have the other side off, you will see that there is an assembly o-ring on the face, and this will be on the side inlet port. And what you will see is the piston. Uh, typically there is a aluminum piston or a plastic piston. I prefer the plastic one because when abrasive gets stuck on the piston, the aluminum tends to seize up where the plastic one will just embed the abrasive and keep continuing to move. Wipe this off and set it off to the side. So you're gonna to wanna to inspect the body of the valve itself, make sure there's no scoring or anything like that. Make sure it's clean, sprayed out with some brake cleaner and go from there. So once we've determined that the body is clean, we will start to rebuild the valve. Take the new piston, which they so kindly covered in grease. Slide it back into the body housing. Then we're going to put the cap with the inlet side. A new O-ring using some of the existing grease on the flat side. Not the side with the hole, flat side. We'll get the screw started here. Then we're going to go to the other side and put the new spring in. You can see the piston is grooved for it. Then we will take the end cap, the first cap that we pulled off, and you can see it has a breather vent. It's the purpose of the felt, to keep dust and particles out. So we make sure we get that in there. Then we will put the end cap on. And start the screws. From there, we're going to tighten off both sides. And there you have it. Hope this helps you in the field. We just rebuilt a pneumatic solenoid.